Hey folks! Today on Raina's Resources, we're going to be talking about making loot bags for your clients. So a really great way that you can help out your clients and add a little bit more oomph to your party packages is to actually make the loot bags for them because there's so much that goes into planning a party. So the more that a party service can do for the clients, the easier it becomes. So what I usually do is I pick a budget and it's a dollar amount per bag and then you shop within that budget. So for today, I'm doing eight dollar bags. And the client ordered 20 of them, so that gives me a budget of $160 to work with. And as a business, I and you, if you are also a business, a registered business, can actually get bulk order discounts. And what that means is that I can get items for the client cheaper than if they were trying to do it themselves. So if they went into the store and they wanted to buy one item, it might be five bucks. But where I'm a business, if I get it bulk order, all of a sudden I'm getting each individual piece for 250 because I've committed to ordering 20 of them. So you're passing that savings on to the client. You can mark it up slightly if you want to make money off it. For this particular client, this is one of my return clients and she booked a really expensive package. So I'm not making any money off of the um, bags. I charged my $8 bag fee. So I've spent my $160 budget. And to me, that's just, I'm throwing in this extra perk for her because she's a return client. She's amazing. It's another great way that you can reward return clients right but you can mark it up slightly or just spend within your budget so that you make a bit of chunk of money on it for your time and effort that you spend or just price each bag so that you are making what you're worth for your time and the resources that you're putting into making it so I use different party websites where you can buy from where if you're a company you get bulk order discounts. Amazon AliExpress Wish is also great. You just have to take into account shipping times and make sure that you're gonna get everything and that you're factoring in all your costs. And then of course, there's places like Party City. I've ordered some things online and I went to Party City. So now you're gonna see a clip of Sean and I shopping at Party City, picking out all sorts of goodies for our clients that we're really excited about. Bye. <laughs> okay, I need a basket. There's that.
and welcome back. So here's what we ended up getting. I've got these really cute paper mermaid bags. They're very shiny, as you can see. I like to go with it because they're recyclable. If I don't use paper bags, I'll often buy actual toy buckets and put all the items in that. Or once I think I bought fish bowls. It does eat up a little bit of your budget if you're gonna go for something more elaborate, but this is great. And the first tip that I'm gonna teach you is that you should put your business card or some sort of marketing in this bag because these bags are going home to 20 children, 20 families. Those are 20 potential new clients. So what I like to do are postcards. Kids love to collect postcards. So do parents. This is not like a business card. It's big, it's beautiful, it's this great picture. There's different ones. If you come to different parties or different public events, you can collect them and make them through Vistaprint. They're really cheap and Vistaprint has discount codes all the time. This is one of my team and then on the back I have our information our social media and I've got our website and our logo so one of these is going inside every single one of these so we're gonna pop that in there it's gonna just barely fit next I went online and I found snap bracelets do you remember these from when you were a kid they're so amazing look at this I love it so much so it's got sequins and they're the reversible ones so right there that's like a fidget spinner kids are gonna have so much fun and they just go so great look I'm wearing one of each so I'm gonna this one has cat hair on it so I'm not gonna give it to the client I had it out as a demo so I'm gonna pop that in there Next, Shawnee found these bulk Little Mermaid squeezy toys. Kids are obsessed with squishy toys right now. I don't know why it's like the thing right now. So this is just a squish. It's a mermaid squish. I think you can actually put water in her. Where does she squirt it? What does it squirt out of? Oh, it squirts out, <laughs> it squirts out of her flower. <laughs> I thought she might spit it or something or it might make her pee. But anyway, kids are loving squishy toys these days. So you've got one of those. We have some eco glitter, chunky glitter here. Got a bunch of these bulk order. Kids love glitter. We have some candy. You gotta go for some candy. We've got some lovely coins, chocolate coins. They're lots of fun. Most kids are fine with chocolate. I like rockets, or these ones are called sweethearts. I find they're good for kids too because they unwrap and there's a few candies in there. Put those in there. I've always liked these suckers. I just find that a lot of these candies I've chosen too are like low on the scale of allergies. So it's like kids are less likely to be allergic to them. And it wouldn't be a party without some pixie sticks. Am I right? I used to love getting these at parties. So each kid getting two pixie sticks. We have a set of Little Mermaid crayons. I have these beautiful necklaces I was able to buy in bulk from an artist. They're handmade. They are mermaid necklaces and it, each one has a little mermaid tail with sparkles on the end and then the necklace that they can wear. Put that in there. And then we have some key chains. Uh, obviously most kids don't use keys but they do like to put these on their backpacks. This one has some cotton on it. I'm just flicking this off. I think it's just from the packaging. But yeah, they like to put them on their school backpacks. And again, these are those reversible sequins. Really satisfying and it changes the color of the tail. I only choose sequin products that are really affixed well so that they're not gonna fall off everywhere. But speaking of sequins, I do usually like to put something sparkly in the bag so when they open it, a little bit of sparkle falls out. So I do have a couple of sequins and we're gonna put a couple in there. It just kinda adds to the magic. So like, mommy, I've got mermaid scales. So there we have it, our $8 bag. It's got some great goodies in it. I actually want one myself. This party, it's at a pool and I need to be able to carry 20 bags there. So I usually save shipping boxes so that I can put the bags in the shipping box. Hopefully I can get 10 in each of these. And now, um, now I have to make 19 more of these. So we're gonna do a time lapse and you're gonna watch me.
our bags are all made and um, usually I will ask if there's a preference uh, on the toys and materials that go in. Some people like things gendered, some people don't, some people see mermaids as any gender, some little boys might think that's too girly. I just want the client to have options so I will always include um, a little extra that has toys that they can swap out if they want, eye patches, mustaches, tattoos, that kind of thing. So, yeah, so there's our bags and I think they're pretty great and I can't wait to see what the client thinks of them tomorrow. I will let you know. Thanks for checking out my video. If you like my resources, please check me out on patreon.com slash mermaid for as little as $2 a month. You can get awesome resources, tips and tricks like this. You can get early access to all kinds of content. You can get exclusive merchandise. And honestly, it just really helps us pay the bills and do things. Please check me out on social media as well. Click the bell to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. What kind of fun things do you do for mermaid parties? Best wishes!